What's up, everyone? Uh, I uh, was just looking at the league leaders uh, screen for the first time all season, and I figured Ronald Acuna, with the year he was having, had his MVP in the bag. Uh, he hasn't won an MVP for me yet. As you can see, uh, he hasn't played a full season. He's always missed a, you know, a little over 20 games for some reason. Uh, but, yeah, he's having his uh, a breakout uh, this year at age 28. Uh you know, as you can see, his numbers, 47 doubles, 33 homers, 111 RBIs, uh, 79 walks. Uh, you know, we're not really a, a running team, but he's still got 15 steals, 336 average, 425 on base, over 1,000 OPS, 7.7 .7 war with about two weeks to go in the season. And you figured, man, that's got to wrap it up. But but uh, Alex Verdugo decided to put up steroid numbers. Like, this guy never hit. 20 homers in a season before, and all of a sudden he has 30 home runs, never had 100 RBIs, never even got close. Then he has, has 100 RBIs, 366 average, 433 on base, a higher OPS than Ronald Acuna. Actually, I think Ronald Acuna it was 1.061, but uh, yeah, with a higher war, 7.9. And this guy, Alex Verdugo, might be the reason Ronald Acuna doesn't win the MVP on the damn Cardinals who are becoming, uh, I'm starting to not like, not to like the Cardinals. I traded them this guy in year one for, uh, for, uh, Flaherty and he becomes like just, just incredible. But who could have seen that coming? I didn't know what this guy was going to be. He was like 18 when I traded him. He wasn't, he, he was like, he was swinging a toothpick up there. He had no bet, but he turns into this crazy hitter. They, uh, signed, uh, Shane Bieber over me. I offered the same amount of money, but my last year was a team option, so he went with them. And now they have Alex Verdugo about to win MVP over Ron Cunha. I hope we meet in the playoffs somehow, because, uh, that is, that would be some great motivation. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to rant about that.